This is TJ Miller, and you're watching the Dom McNatty Show. You better be. Your current status with Ryan Reynolds. Are you guys okay now? Or do you still, you mentioned at one point in an interview that you felt like he was insecure. If you, you see to... both, if you see both of the interviews, because then I, I talked about it again on Jim and Sam the next day. Yep. It's like, what? I, yeah. Um, so what I was going to say is, um, sorry, my wife is like right across the thing being like, um, <laughs> but it's, uh, no, it's, you know, I told, I told a weird story on the, uh, about, no, I told a story about something weird that happened on the set and speculated why kind of. And then he uh, emailed me the next day and I emailed him and it's fine. It was never not fine, but it's fine. It's just, if you say anything and the media can grab it and spin it or make a headline out of it. So it'll be clickbait. It's always clickbait. Um, then they'll do that. And so then it ends up being up to the person who got clickbaited to go back and like follow it up and explain it. And then they don't really really do anything about that because it's not going to get any click so right. as a publicist you should know that a lot of this is just whatever the media wants to uh you know um you know frame it as and it's just because they want clicks because it's motivated by website traffic because that's how they get advertisers they just really are looking for me to be a part of the national conversation um you know, the worldwide conversation as a person who said something controversial, you know? Right. And so it's incredibly frustrating because once they like that about you and they don't like, well, then they're going to paint you as, you know, what gets the most clicks. Yeah. And that, that's kind of the purpose of why I started the show is to give people that platform to, to speak out with what, like what you're saying, you know? So it's, I, I can imagine, which I, which I appreciate, you know, because yeah. that's not only that's not the case for a lot of other a lot of other shows, and also for you know, uh, for that very reason, I did feel comfortable talking about it. Where I was sort of over there going, "That's it," you don't have anything else to say <laughs> about it, because that's everybody's advice. It's just because of the nature of your show. Yeah, I mean, we can talk about that. What was the misunderstanding? Like you said, did you call uh, Ryan insecure? Did you say that him and Blake's marriage was well curated? Like, did you say those things and not mean them? Or was it just, what did they cut up your words and make it sound a certain see, way? Now, see, now, now we're getting to a place where it feels like you're kind of doing it, even if you don't mean to. But it's like, okay. here's what I would say. Watch the interview and then watch my interview with Jim Norton and you know jim and sam and then you actually have the information okay it's the the issue is that most people don't go and listen to the interview with jim and sam where i did do a follow-up so it like doesn't matter if i do it or whatever it's the whole thing is what i see i already said the whole thing it's like okay. i had a um i told a story for being on set right and I speculated why. And then the next day, it kind of went crazy. So Ryan emailed me, was really cool about it, is a great guy, very good dude. And, um, you know, then I emailed back and it's over. So it's kind of like the only thing that keeps it in the media cycle is people like yourself saying, well, I want you to clear this up, you know, because it's already been cleared up. It's kind of, that's it. What are your plans for? Do you have plans for Deadpool three? Like, is that something that you spoke about that I missed? Like, do you? Do you yeah, I did. I I already talked about it. Okay. Are you open to talking about that? Like, do you want to be a part of it? Have you been asked to be a part of it? I do. You, I mean, if you know anything about Marvel movies, you're not allowed to talk about it. Okay. It and Hugh Hugh Jackman, you can't talk about like your personal opinion or your excitement for for that or. I mean, no. <laughs> no, no. But the comedians that are controversial probably get more views because they are so edgy. You know, they say things that they don't, and it's it's an easy way to get views because you're speaking on things you shouldn't. 
I'm not being driven for clicks, you know, and by getting headlines for being edgy or offensive or anything like that. And, you know, I mean, look at what's happening. It's like Chris Rock is making a joke that really was benign and he's getting slapped in the face. Was Chris wrong for that or was Will wrong? Like, what is your view? I mean, I don't think anybody should be slapping anybody, period. No matter what's said or no matter anything, it's kind of like, um, you know, 